Hallo zusammen! Today we're gonna learn the difference between the two seemingly similar German words wann and wenn. Let's go! The German language features quite a few words that look quite similar and therefore could be very tricky for learners of the German language. So let's begin with the German wann with an A and a double N. It's not exclusively but quite often used as the first word in a question about time, a date, point in time or period. Wann wirst du heute nach Hause kommen? When will you be coming home today? It's a temporal adverb, which means it can neither be altered nor inflected. It always remains wann. Please note that whenever it's the first word in a German sentence, even though it's not a noun, it has to be capitalized. It can also be used within sentences, for instance introducing a subordinate clause. Du musst mir noch Bescheid sagen, wann du morgen kommen wirst. You still need to tell me when you're gonna arrive tomorrow. Now let's take a look at the German wenn with an e and a double n. It's a bit more versatile in direct comparison. It functions as a conjunction and can neither be altered, which is a similarity to the temporal adverb wann. Since it's a conjunction, not an adverb, it's a term that introduces an ordinate clause. What makes it special and standing out in comparison to wann is that it's semantically way more flexible. Wenn can express several different semantic relations. One, a temporal relation, slightly similar to wann, yet unspecific and more general, to a conditional relation, if or in case this happens, that's gonna result in <laughs> And three, pretty much a mixture of both, which usually gets used in a temporal way. As soon as this happens, if it's ever gonna happen in the first place, I intend to. Wenn ich in der Lotterie gewinne, dann baue ich ein großes Haus. When or if I'm gonna win the lottery, I'm gonna build a big house. To make this a bit less ambiguous, Germans might also substitute the wenn with the equally frequent conjunction falls, which limits the semantic side to the conditional aspect and it pretty much erases the temporal one. Ohne wenn und aber. It's a German saying, literally without when and but, meaning you're supposed to accept a stated fact or opinion or you're supposed to do a task without questioning or starting a discussion about it. And therefore, this phrase might very well be used by German parents when they tell their kids to tidy up their room. Du räumst jetzt ohne wenn und aber dein Zimmer auf. You're gonna tidy up your room without any questions and without any discussion right now. You can also find the term as part of the compound word wenn gleich, although or albeit. Hope you learned something today and if you want to learn more about similar looking German words that are indeed quite different, well feel free to check out these videos in the end card. And thanks for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sharing these videos. It's the best way to support the channel. I'm your vlog Dave, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. Whoops.